It was a tense day in Darwin in 1942 when Brian Winspear noticed a strange object glistening above the palm trees. You could see the sun glinting off the bombs and it was just like confetti coming down. Mr Winspear, now 101 years old, was serving in the Royal Australian Air Force when Japan started dropping bombs on Darwin. We had some very close uh, near, near misses and it blew my hat off and I got shrapnel in my hand and in my eye. And, and fires were burning everywhere and I was just saying, oh, yeah, yeah, we lost about eight or ten of our aircraft, they were just all burning. To this day, Japan's first air raid in Darwin on February 19, 1942, remains the largest single attack ever mounted by a foreign power on Australia. Dr Norman Cramp says it marked the beginning of a months-long onslaught. Around 230 to 250 people were killed on that first day, and over the, um, the nearly two years of bombings, um, around 1,700 people lost their lives. Mr Winspear says the attacks were so damaging and fast, there was no time to properly farewell the dead. If someone didn't come, come back, you, there was no mourning, no funerals, no anything. At one stage I had to watch uh, 12 air crew blokes burn to death after their plane took off tail heavy. After narrowly escaping death a dozen times, Mr Winspear says the bombing of Darwin changed him forever. I mean, it made me a, a, a great believer in fate. You know, if something was going to happen, you never kicked against it. You, uh, you, you just took it as it came and several times uh, I was supposed to be doing something in the last minute, they changed, they changed it. and uh, and. And, and the person that took my place in two or three cases, he was, uh, he was dead with a lot of others. If there's one thing Mr Winspear and Dr Cramp want to leave with Australians, it's the heartache caused by the Darwin bombing. The younger generations and the, and the current generations and the generations in the future are, are losing their memory of this. And the danger with history is if you forget it and you ignore it, you increase the chances of it um, repeating itself. Now, 80 years after witnessing death and destruction, Mr Winspear's image of Darwin has changed for the better. I think it's a nice place to go for a holiday. <laughs>